Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are playing in 0.15 and I'm absolutely loving this update. Let's check out the radar for a moment and see what we've got. Oh my god, we have a huge lake. Oh, is it the return of the giant lakes? Oh my gosh, I remember Bentham's series on Rail World where he has that ginormous lake and this is looking like a doozy. I hope it is. I hope it's enormous because I love big lakes. I think they're really cool. Uh, and I've been wanting one, but 0.13 had very strange terrain generation and we couldn't get one like that. So um, anyway, I looked at the diagram for the five wide mall and um, there are a couple of things that I'm not going to be using, namely these things on the side. These are going to be supposed to be accumulators, and I'm going to have mine built elsewhere, I think. So um, the steel furnaces are not actually in the mall, so I'm going to build some. But what we do need is we need some stone brick, which I haven't actually made yet. Let's go and look for some more miners, see if there are any there. Uh, let's see. Miners, miners, miners. There are none in because I just, I grabbed a few out of the chest. There are 15 that I have right now. Those are just, modules are so distracting. I'm going to take these guys off. I am not a fan of these new module looking shapes. I think the other ones were so much easier to read. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, taking these off is not a big deal because, uh, most of these, we, we don't even know what the heck they are, to be honest. So we're just going to take these off and we can replop the blueprint when we get to that point. Okay, just take these out. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm just like, the graphics for the new modules are just eh, icky. If you want to look, let's go. Modules. They look very strange indeed. They're very weird looking things. They have these little lights on the top of them that like, you know, a different thing. Oh wait, that's not what we wanted. Yeah, but if you look from like module one has one light, two lights, three lights, but I think the other ones were so much easier to read and I kind of look like the way they looked like little books or cards or something. I think they were kind of cool, but these, eh. I hope I hope the devs give a rethink to that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But anyway, um, of course, I haven't actually used them yet. Maybe they're better in usage, but I'm not I'm not going to hang my hopes on it. We'll just say it that way. Now, I would like to put in a belt here for stone. Let's get stone coming in uh, here. Go this way. I'm gonna go around the iron ore patch like this and just put a few stone miners. It does not have to be a lot. Mm. Should I go vertical with this? I could. I could. I could just leave this. Oh, this is actually really nice if I do a line here. Like this. One, two, three. Uh, oops, four. That's what we want for here. I don't think I want any more than, well, we could do six. Let's do six miners for stone. And this is going to provide both our stone for the bus as well as the brick, stone brick. Okay, here comes stone rolling down the line. Hooray. And of course, we're gonna have to set up another uh, another set of furnaces for these guys. Oh, and while we're at it, let's not forget we can always add more iron. We have nine more miners. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Belts. Excellent. Go run along here and we'll finish this stone belt. Whoa, it's a really inconvenient place to put a power plow. Not sure why I did it that way. Let's 
Let's put stone. We can have stone over here. Why is this short on coal? Oh, that's why. Uh-huh. Yep, I put these the wrong way. That's unfortunate. But uh, we have... Where is the furnace melting setup? Um, shift to change blueprint. No, that doesn't work. What is this? Export to string. No. We want to do, we want to go to blueprint book and get our smelting. There we go. Except this is not the right smelting because we need to redo that smelting. And we'll do it this way instead. And we'll actually change the blueprint because this is the correct one. Uh, we'll call this smelting early game because that has the correct uh, coal pathing in here. So I'm going to put that here. I'm gonna go to the blueprint book and delete this thing. Bye bye. Okay, and we're going to put. Did that not save? Oh dear god. Smelting early game. Okay, that saved it. Good. And we're gonna take this. B. Shove. Good. Now we can put it down here. And life will be slightly better, maybe. Wow, we have very little room to this lake. Goodness me. Um Okay, let's get building this thing. And moving right along with it. Oh, okay, hi. Excuse me. I really should get lab speed. Beautiful. Okay. I might do some interesting recycling at the end there. Because why not? put in. I wonder how long it's going to take for Anti-Elite to do another speedrun. I'm always kind of a fan of his speedruns, I have to admit. They are highly entertaining to watch. Okay, excellent. Okay, this is really great. So now, what I would like to do is we're going to, we're never, I don't think we're ever gonna need, are we gonna need? Do we need any stone for any of the science packs? Let's look for that. Let's go for look for science pack this. What do you need for that? Speed modules, batteries. Okay, purple, electric furnaces, oh no, that needs bricks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a separate line for stone and for stone brick. And we'll put that probably down here. Shotgun shell damage, grenade damage, we need stuff for that first. Electric energy, yeah, let's have that. Um. Right, oh. Um, where do I want stone to come down if it's not through there? I could just put it on the side. I could literally do that. I could just do it here. Because we're not getting any benefit necessarily from doing this sort of thing. So I could just do this. 
and just put it down this way. Kind of have it creep along in the same way. Oopsie. This one... Yeah, that's just fine. Leave this here. Put these two this way. And I think that'll work. I think that'll work pretty well. Not too badly. Oh, come on tree, get out the way. These stone bricks look a little bit lighter. I don't know if I like the lighter color. I kind of like them sort of dark gray. They look like sort of like cinder blocks a bit. Oh, I need, oh, gotta go shopping for belt. Let's go get some belt. And once we get these things on the line, then we'll be able to add the um, the steel furnaces. Oh my God, 2000 belt. <laughs> oh, that is so tasty, meowy. Whoa, nice, okay. Oh man, but what I would give for some nice, tasty robots. I want early game bots. Nexel is a genius. He knows what we need want. He knows all about it. He knows we need nanobots. And I think that's probably where the devs um, might have been inspired by. I don't know. Maybe they weren't, but they might have been. Oh, hello. Um... Okay, let's get this across. And you can go like this. Alrighty. I was kind of convoluted, but that's okay. Probably too many undergrounds. I was trying to save them, ironically. This stone looks very dark when you're zoomed out. Huh, okay. Let's go down here. This is almost to the mall. Okay, so there we are. Let me check my screenshot for which place the... Um, the stone comes in. Let's see. So stone brick and stone will be on the third belt. It's going to be on this last one right there. Oops. Okay. Like that. Righty. Um... Aw, come on game, don't do that. Don't lag like that with me. No. I wonder if I could do it here. Possibly. Um, nah, this is probably easier to do it this way. Oops. There we go. Okay, so that's what we want. Stone on half and stone bricks on the other half. And I think we can build our furnace maker here-ish. Let me see, do we have any? We have one assembling machine. <laughs> do we have any more? Thank you. And let's grab a little bit of a few of those. Long-handed inserters, take half a stack of those and see what we need. Okay, gonna need stuff. Where's the stuff we need? We need eight bricks and steel. So steel, I think steel is going to come in. Uh, looks like on both sides of this. It's hard to tell. Gun turret damage. No, let's go for lab speed because we're going to need lab speed throughout the entire campaign. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. Don't need any of that. Uh, so this belt here looks like it's going to be half steel and half batteries. I think it's going to be half batteries. Uh, but to that end, let me just make this like this. 
and put in a temporary belt or a temporary way of connecting this anyway. And we'll grab steel from over there. Okay, nice. Oh, I ran out of undergrounds. Shoot. Let's get yeah, like half a stack of those. <laughs> I now have way I have too many pelts. <laughs> I'll put some back. I feel bad taking so many from the chest. Um, I've been playing some on the uh, community map, and uh, it's like, no, I can't take that many. I have to, I have to leave for other people too, because you know everybody wants to play and everybody deserves to have materials. So yeah, we can't take everything. No more selfish Factorio, right? Where you feel like you can have everything. All right, let's get our this thing. Gonna need, yeah, bricks. Let's put it here for space saving purposes. And we'll get you there and we'll have, I think I used to have reds here, as I recall. So put those there, shove this that way, get our power pole, which we need to make lots more. Gotta get power poles set up as well. Oh, and you're going to make stuff. How about this stuff? Sounds like a plan to me. We'll put this chest here and you can basically shove stuff into there. And we'll make like two stacks at a time. That should be enough. Let's get rid of this stuff. Don't need any of these. Oh, this is the problem with putting the blueprint down twice, isn't it? Get all these extra little power poles around, like the ghost images and stuff. Eeps. Look at these poor inserters. These are like having this knee-jerk reaction. No, I want the gear. I want it. But the other ones are taking it. Oh, man. Oh, wait. These are going out. Okay. Those are also going out. 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 In. 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 There we are. Just upgrade all of those inserters for now. And these don't need to be here. Okay. Why is this one here? We need a fast one. Take it out of the chest too. Okay. Nice. So the cool thing about... Wow, there's already a ton of them. This is fantastic. I'm excited now. This is good. Right, yeah. Okay. Gonna get red greens. Oh, I forgot to make more labs. Do I have any? I, I could have sworn I made a couple. Nope, apparently I didn't. Stone brick. We could actually start paving stuff. Oh, and then there's these wild, crazy belt things that are. <laughs> that's gonna mess up my fluid paths. <laughs> I always never. I never budget enough room between the bus and then the assembly lines. I don't know why. I, I keep trying to. I do try. Um, and think about, okay, yeah, it's going to be, this is going to be enough this time, but it never works out. And I don't know why. Uh, right, let's get, we need some more iron. Let's get iron going on. We are at the limit of our processing speed for labs. So we're going to build some more labs. We're going to build, let's see, Five, six, seven, eight, and we have two already. So let's just get these thrown down. Ooh, and I have oh we have the ability to make grenades. Wow, they take eight seconds each. Shoot. I'm gonna have to chop these trees. But at least I have a steel axe now, so that's good. I can also start making some red belt, which is a good thing. Hello, Magnolia. Greetings, my squeaking cat. You know what? I'm just going to do one belt at a time. Or I'll do two belts. How about that? Because we don't actually need the other two. And I don't need to waste the inserters on the other two either. Because we're not actually using them yet. Hello, Maggie. Good cat. No, excuse me. Pardon me. You'll, you'll need to slightly move to the left. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good cat. Uh, I think I'm going to blueprint this. Okay, I got the smelting early game done. 
let's blueprint this and just put it down a couple more times. We have two, four, six. This is a weird looking tray. And eight, I think, is where we're going to leave off with this. Alrighty, nice. Okay. But this just helps with the planning and organization. Shove that there. And then we can get in all of these guys. Nice. Okay. Now we have doubled our lab capacity. We should get things done a little bit quicker. We should add some lights around the place too. Let's get a few more made. Come on, lights. I could use you. We need your illuminating brightness to light our days. I don't know if I need any by the labs, because they kind of provide their own light with that electric effect. Of course, I could actually make some here, because we have the light thing and we've got the sticks. I'm not sure what's going on with this pipe here. Oh, this is for, ah uh, yes, level three belts, right? Oh, wow, that pipe looks interesting. That's going to be fun, I think. Right, so gets, let's get these assemblers down for making red belts. What do I want? Do I want any of this stuff? Not really. Uh, pump jacks. Yeah, why not? Start going for oil. It's time. So what are you short on? Gears? Oh. Huh. Um. Oh, there we go. Got our one assembly machine. Yeah, that's interesting. Was this messed up because of ghost images? Ooh, that would not be good if it was. I would really like some stack inserter bonus. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, no, no. Go back. Go back in the chest. I wanted to do this instead. Yep. Okay. Look at that ghost images prevent. Oh, I don't know if I like that at all. That does not sound like a good plan to me. Uh, ghost images prevent undergrounds from working. So beware. Beware indeed, because that that will screw up your your plans in some cases. Like it just screwed up mine. They weren't functioning because I had pasted the blueprint back over and they were not getting to where they needed to go. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh landfill. Uh flammables. Yeah, let's go for nukes. Uh, but we can have all the other stuff as well. Okay, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there, I'm quite sure. And you can go there. You can go to the chest. There we go. And we're not going to need much red belt, so maybe like four squares of this stuff. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, mostly because the uh, red belt can is going to be converted into blue belt at some point. So what are you picking up? You're picking up greens. Okay. And let's get these things sorted out. Eeps. We don't like that at all. Sometimes it's really hard to tell if something is actually covered by electricity or if it's just a ghost. We're gonna have to get military science packs soon. I can't I can't research any weapons without it. <laughs> Alright, let me get these guys going. I'm gonna need one square of this. And 
one square of this. Boom. Okay. We are well on our way. Uh, before we leave... Oh, 74 electric furnaces. Or steel furnaces, I should say. So now this... Basically, steel furnaces are awesome because... And we need to improve our green circuits. But steel furnaces are fantastically cool because... They basically allow you to extend the fuel value of your coal and they process twice as fast for the same amount of coal. So they are super, super good. Nice. Let's get steel to be given these things. Oh, that was steel. Nice. I'm not going to bother with stone brick at the moment. I'd really like to just get iron sorted out and also copper. But soon those belts will be drained dry because the the 12 uh, long columns are actually designed for steel furnaces not for stone furnaces and already you can see that yet yeah, we're having trouble putting stuff on the belts so what we're gonna do is put in undergrounds here I didn't want to put them before because we were kind of lacking in materials to build them but now it's time so that these guys can put stuff on the line. Now for steel, it's not really necessary to do that, I don't think. Because uh, steel takes quite a long time to process. But I'll put it in here for the stone bricks, just in case we ever have the need for it. I doubt it, but, you know, you never can tell, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get any more furnaces. And immediately you see these lines are full of iron, which is awesome. Steel furnaces are one of the coolest upgrades in the game that you can get. IMO, of course. Um, nice. Ooh, ooh, we can put this stone in the, the stone furnaces, or the steel furnaces that are processing, or stone furnaces that are processing stone bricks. There we go. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Now... Furnace upgrade for copper. Nice, and we have just one left. All right, this has been awesome, and uh, we are gonna we are really well on our way to making a really nice base. Uh, things are flowing smoothly, and uh, we're gonna get a lot more uh, product out of this. We're gonna have to basically add more miners I think because these belts are not full uh, and we're splitting one in half so that's not a good thing but we will get there so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time